Hey everyone, welcome to Sean Allen Films, the educational series. I'm Sean Allen. This is part four of a nine part series on the skeletal system. If you haven't seen the first three episodes, I suggest you go watch them right now before continuing on with today's video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the rib cage, the pectoral girdle, and the pelvic girdle. Oh, hey Sean, you're gonna need to change that shirt today. What? What's wrong with my t-shirt? Well, it's just... It's not appropriate for today's episode. Here. Try this on for size. Here. Here you go. This? Okay. One second. Hey, look at Good choice in shirt. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Hey, it looks good on you. Okay, let's get started with today's episode. Let's take a look at the rib cage. Even though that's what it's called, doctors like to call it the thoracic cage. But for this video, we'll call it the rib cage. It has two main purposes. One, it helps protect the heart and your lungs. Second, it also helps you breathe. The bones that make up your rib cage are known as ribs. This bone in the middle is known as the sternum. As you can see in our visual, we are showing you something unique. The ribs that are colored red are known as true ribs. The ones that are colored blue are known as false ribs. Why are they called false ribs? Well, it's because these bones are not attached directly to the sternum. They are actually attached to a special type of cartilage known as coastal cartilage. Why do you need this cartilage? Well, it's because it helps you when you are breathing. It helps move the rib cage when you are inhaling and exhaling. If you didn't have this cartilage, you would have a very hard time breathing. You see these two pairs of ribs on the bottom? They are not attached to the sternum at all. They just seem to float in the air. That's why they are known as floating ribs. Remember back in part one, we discussed how the skeletal system is divided into two parts? the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton? Well, guess what? Now that we have finished discussing about the rib cage, we have finished the entire axial skeleton. Let's now move on to the appendicular skeleton by first talking about the pectoral girdle. As you can see, the pectoral girdle is located on the back side of the rib cage. The bone attached to the front of the rib cage leading from the pectoral girdle is known as the clavicle. This is also referred to as the collarbone. The scapula is the bone that the collarbone is attached to. This is the bone that is attached directly to the back of the rib cage. Okay, now that we have talked about the pectoral girdle, let's move on and talk about the pelvic girdle. The first part of the pelvic girdle we'll look at is the coxa. This is divided into three parts, the ilium, the pubis, and the ischium. You must remember that there are two of each of these bones on both sides of the pelvic girdle. The bone in the middle of the coxa is the sacrum, which we have already discussed about in the last episode. The bone in the middle of the ischium is called symphysis pubis. You may be asking yourself, why is the coxa divided into three parts? It's because when you were a child, those bones were connected to cartilage. As you grew older, that cartilage became hard bone tissue. We must also remember that a female pelvic girdle is bigger than a male pelvic girdle. This is due to her giving birth. Well, it looks like we're finished with the pelvic girdle, and it looks like we're ready for a quick review. You have three different types of ribs. True ribs, false ribs, and floating ribs. True ribs are directly attached to the sternum while false ribs are not. The pectoral girdle contains the collarbone which is also called the clavicle. This bone is attached to the scapula which is attached to the backside of your rib cage. Your pelvic girdle contains your coxa and sacrum. 
the coxa is divided into three parts, the ilium, the pubis, and the ischium. Well everybody, we have finished part four of the skeletal system. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Next week, we're going to be learning about the limbs. That's right, the arms and the legs. Before you go, be sure to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out Sean's Google Plus page, Twitter, Facebook, Keek, and second channel. The links are down below. Well, everybody, that's all for today's episode. Until next time, keep on learning.